Hi guys, I'm Mark, a scuba diving instructor from Safe Diving. And I'm Mark Evans, editor-in-chief of Scuba Diver Magazine. So in this series of videos, we're going to be taking a closer look at an entire range of the newest scuba diving equipment, and all of these videos are sponsored by Mike's Dive Store, the UK's largest scuba diving retailer, and they hold most of these items in stock at all times. They're also doing their bit for sustainability by moving to eco-friendly packaging. And they also donate 1% of all their online profits to the marine conservation charity Sea Changes. So let's jump straight in. Okay, so here we have the Shearwater Peregrine Dive Computer. So this is a large screen, color screen, rechargeable uh, dive computer. So it really ticks a lot of the boxes for a good 99% of, uh, of scuba divers. And uh, to put it into perspective, it's basically a kind of a light version of the Perdix. Um, so it has a lot of the, uh, so the extra, all of the kind of technical stuff that most people are never really gonna use. It gets rid of that and, uh, and it gets rid of the, uh, so the AI as well, the wireless air integration, um, and puts it into a really sensible price position. So this is what you get. Uh, so it comes in a neat little case, and uh, obviously you can reuse this to keep it safe in between dives to sort of store and travel it. Unzip that, and uh, and then inside here we have the dive computer. Uh, so I'm going to go quickly through uh, sort of everything that you get with it. So obviously you get the dive computer, but I'm going to show you that a little bit later. So you have to stay tuned. Uh, you get a bit of uh, sort of foam padding, and around this you get the elastomer strap. So this is a nice smooth strap, very comfortable. It's nice and long, so you can fit it around a dry suit, and uh, you get that traditional kind of buckle holding it in position. Underneath that, um, if I just give it a little push, you get the recharging pad. So um, this is a USB recharging, so you plug that into a powered USB port, and then you put that on your desk, and then that will recharge your uh, your Peregrine. Um, so very handy, especially on a dive boat. You don't have to bring all your different adapters. You just need one powered USB port, and you can charge your phone, your, uh, your dive computer, you name it. Also inside of here, um, I'm not going to unravel it, uh, we've got this bungee cable and that's because you can either use that elastomer strap or if you can see here we've got these kind of holes down on the side and that just means that you can use a, uh, a sort of a bungee mount um, which I prefer personally, it's, uh, it's sort of how it holds onto your wrist nice and easily and you never have to worry about that buckle and um, it's going to adjust as your wetsuit or your dry suit compresses at depth. You also have a few tools. Um, so you've got these two little screwdrivers and they're sort of nuts and bolts, and those are for the main strap. Also in the box, because you get a lot of stuff from Shearwater, um, you get a screen protector. Um, so be very careful when you're putting that on because you don't want dust, hairs, or bubbles from uh, sort of getting underneath that. Uh, and you also get a couple stickers to show some brand allegiance. Also in the box, you have this zippered section at the top. And then inside here, you get the USB cable for that recharging kind of cradle pad. Um, and you also get a, a little bit of paperwork so you have a kind of a link to the digital version of the user manual. Definitely read through the user manual and you get a quality checklist just so that you know that everything's included and it's all been checked by Shearwater. Okay, so now we're moving on to the actual dive computer. I'm just going to take this off very carefully um, and switch it on. Um, Okay, so this is the dive computer itself. So it has a sensible sized screen um, and it's color screen as well. So if you start to do something wrong, it starts changing color, it goes reds and yellows, um, which is really effective at really kind of drawing your attention. Um, because if you look at a general screen, uh, it's got all this information and you might uh, sort of glance over something that's actually quite important. So if it changes color, it really draws your attention. Big screen, um, nice big digits, and um, it's kind of laid out really sensibly. The body of it is made out of a polymer, so it's nice and light. It's also quite thin. It's arguably a little bit thinner than a Perdix, um, and it's nice and flat as well. The buttons are slightly different on the Peregrine compared to the Perdix. Uh, these are pretty much the buttons from the Terek. Uh, you don't get the piezoelectric buttons on the, um, on the Perdix. These ones are sort of metal push buttons, uh, but 
just as good. They, uh, they definitely do the job. And you get one on either side. And as you uh, sort of press a button, it spells out exactly uh, sort of what the button function does. So you can cycle through everything. And then when you get to the one that you want, if I want to turn it off, I know I push that button and it switches it off. So very intuitive, very natural to uh, sort of get your head around. Um, flipping it over, nothing overly exciting on the uh, on the back side, uh, but you might be able to get a uh, better look at these uh, sort of attachment points, either for the main uh, sort of elastomer strap or for those bungee straps. Okay, so that's the Shearwater Peregrine Dive Computer, a kind of a recreational dive computer. It's got a full color screen and a decent size as well, so you can read everything that's on it, all air, nitrox, everything that you could possibly need for recreational diving, and, uh, and it's rechargeable as well from a standard USB plug. So um, yeah, a very good dive computer. But for a full range of dive computers, don't forget to visit mikesdivestore.com. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you can see more like it um, hit that little bell icon as well so as soon as we upload another video in this series you'll get a little notification so you can be the first to see it if you want to see another video right at this current moment you can click on this playlist here to go through our basics uh, which is basically the scuba diving fundamentals where we go through anything um, so if you're just starting out that's a great playlist for you or if you want something a bit more advanced we have that playlist thanks for watching and safe diving Thank you.